Hi guys, welcome back to another video on here today. I just got some uh, new Reds member booyah from uh, Reds Heads. I am a 2020 Reds Heads member, so they gave me some nice stuff that they were going to be selling at the games. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, they uh, you can't, there's no crowd. So uh, anyway, I wanted to show you all the cards I got and some other member booyah I got and stuff like that. So here we have the uh, manager of the team, the leader of the team, David Bell. And uh, that's a really cool card. I wasn't sure who this one is. Uh, it looks like Shogo Akiyama, I believe. But he looks like he's going to be a heavy hitter. So now here's the newer guy who is breaking records I actually met. Achidi Sequino. So this guy is hammering lots of records down. So he's he's gonna be upcoming real good player. Here's uh for this season he's our backup catcher Tucker Barnhart. Uh, uh Kirk Casale he's actually taking over uh, catching now, but he's still our backup. Here's the one who's been dominating up there. Him and Sonny Gray have been dominating, but mainly Trevor Bauer, this guy right here. He's been uh, pitching through it all. Uh, me and my cousin Grant, we uh, like him a lot, and we think he's. Real good picture. So yeah, here we have another one. I'm not so sure. We have a few that I wasn't so sure about. Alex Blandino. So some of these guys I wasn't so sure about, but it looks like his stats go back to uh, 2014. So uh, he uh, he did a lot of different stuff. It looks like he's been on the Reds for a little while. This guy also I'm not aware of Matt Bowman. He looks like his new pitcher. And then here's the main catcher who's been, took over, uh, what's his name? Tucker Reinhardt, Kurt Casale. So he's a pretty good catcher. They actually are very good friends. At Red's Fest, they actually did a cooking show together. We watched that, so that was pretty cool. This is, uh, Nick Castellanos. I'm not, I think I've heard of him. I'm pretty sure he's been on the team for a while. Looks like he joined... Oh, maybe not. Uh, he might have been big around the world. I can't remember. He, but this must be his first year with the Reds. But he's been off for a while. Everybody knows Luis Castillo. I really want to meet him. He's one of the only Reds guys I haven't met uh, with uh, Jesse Winker. So I really want to meet those two guys. Jesse Winker, I remember he's at the bottom of the stack. I think he's actually the last card in here. We have an old pitcher who's been with the team for a very long time. Anthony Nisclenafy, he's a pretty fast pitcher, and uh, I feel like uh, he's upcoming, well, not upcoming, but a uh, pretty uh, good, uh, hardworking pitcher. So we have Philip Irvin, this guy, I feel like I'm pretty sure he's been playing for a little while. Some of these, yeah, he's been on switching through Cincinnati and Louisville for a while. He must have been in the minors a little bit. We have Kyle Farmer. This guy is an upcoming guy. Last season, I watched him play for a little bit, and uh, it was his first uh, ever uh, time with the Reds last season. I watched him a little bit on TV, and he was a pretty good hitter. He was in the main lineup, which I was really surprised that he made the main lineup from last season. So now we have Freddie Galvis. I'm not so sure who this guy is. I love his dreadlocks. That's pretty cool. But uh, um, he looks like he's an outfielder or maybe a, a second baseman or first or third. I don't really know. But whatever he is, he looks uh, uh, pretty good. He actually plays... Um, hmm, doesn't say. Ah. But it looks like his minor league stats are... Uh, very good. So, shout out to that guy. Congratulations. Here we have Amara Garnett. I actually met him not too long ago with my friend Leo. And I got him to sign a rookie card of Amara Garnett. That was really fun. And, uh, yeah, he's been with the team for a few years now. He's been with them since 2017. So, yeah, he has very good pitching stats. Here's the one who's been uh, up with Trevor Bauer, but Trevor Bauer's been pushing a little bit farther ahead. 
They have Sonny Gray, came from the Yankees a few years back. I believe it was from uh, 2019 we got him, actually. But uh, he started off in uh, Oakland Athletics through uh, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then through uh, 18, well, 17. In the middle of the year, he got traded and then went back to uh, – New York through 18, and went to the Reds in 19, and then played throughout. This guy last season, he was always our end pitcher. He was the one who threw the end pitches. He was very, very fast. I met him at Reds Fest uh, last year, Rossiel Iglesias. He is a very fast pitcher. I uh, highly recommend him uh, watching YouTube videos on him and stuff. He just throws very, very fast, and he's a very good pitcher. Next up, we have Michael Lorenzen. Uh, uh, he's a uh, pitcher, and he is pretty much dominating. He's always been a fast pitcher. He's getting a little lower down as, as the years go. Hopefully, he doesn't end out like Homer Bailey or Roldis Chapman having to get traded or free agency or even back down to the minors. So, yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen. Tyler Mayo, he's an upcoming pitcher. He has been with the Reds for a few years now, but he's in, he hasn't really been on the field or the main lineup that I'm aware of really ever. So I've heard of his name, Tyler Mayo. That's pretty cool. I've looked through his stack already like once, so I flipped through him pretty fast. So here's a, uh, Wade Miley. I'm not so sure who that is. It looks like he's an upcoming player along with this guy, Mike. Stockus, looks like an upcoming guy. And then next up, we have Nick Senzel. He's been with the Reds for a while, but just uh, never started up actually playing for the Reds until last year. And he's a very good hitter. I actually met him at Reds Fest also. We have another guy, too. Well, here, we have... Lucas Sims, I'm not so aware of. Looks like an upcoming pitcher. And Robert Stevenson, he has been with the Reds for since like about 2016, I think. Yeah, 2016. And uh, his minor league stats are very, very high. 198, so his minor league stat for uh, uh, his IP. So, yeah. We have Pedro Strop, upcoming player, I'm guessing. Looks like an upcoming pitcher. We have the team captain of this year, Enio Suarez. Uh, he's been with the team for many years, and uh, he is uh, dominating through these seasons, and he is going up with Joey Votto, and he's going to probably be up there. He's, I could say he's only already three quarters up there. This guy was just like, uh, he reminds me of, uh, what's his name? Uh, he's the guy that was uh, from, uh, he was, uh, I can't remember, Kyle Farmer. Yeah, Kyle Farmer. And uh, Josh Van Meer was just like Kyle Farmer, newer guy. So, uh, yeah. We have Joey Votto, first baseman. Uh uh, he's been breaking records lately. I heard he broke a few records. He's been with Cincinnati for a very long time. And then the last but not least through all the cards is Jesse Winker. This is the guy I really want to meet. Number 33. He's been with the Reds since uh, like 2017, 2016. Okay, now we're going to get into my pin. I'm probably going to put this on my jacket. My uh, leather jacket. Reds Heads 2020 member, and as you can see, I'm not going to take it off, but this is the spot that uh, keeps the uh, little pin off so it doesn't uh, cut you. And then we have uh, a few different columns cards and stuff from their uh, sponsoring, and we have some tattoos of their logos and their sponsor of Reese's. And then we have a... Uh, uh, 
a uh, like what they tell you and all the little logos like innings pitched and hits and runs and earned runs and home runs and all that and RBIs and stuff like that so that's what those are for so uh anyway this video was just that's probably about all I needed to show you so this video has been kind of a long one but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching bye